Welcome back to the Lazy Handle Show. I'm your host Katrina. For today's episode, I'm going to be doing a preview on the Canada Cup. And today's shout out goes to the Tulsa Curling Club in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Keep up the great work. All right, so now for my preview on the Canada Cup. Starting with the women. Um, so we have an awesome women's team, Team Holman. Everybody knows them. They're a great team, top five in the world right now. You know what, winning this event would be so great for them because they are a fantastic team and they're great. So I think they're gonna win this event for sure because they're such a strong and um, dedicated team. So I'm gonna give my star to them. And then Jones, this is a team I actually kind of want to talk a little bit more about because they haven't had the best season. I mean, we haven't seen them in one slam final yet. We haven't seen them winning all the slams they did last year. So I think at the Canada Cup, winning this would be great for their team. Winning a big event like this would be awesome for their team. So I think Jones is a team you're going to want to watch for at the Canada Cup. And then Robertson, um, this is going to be such a great experience from them. I mean, all the times at that Manitoba Provincials, I feel like each year they're just getting better and better because of the Manitoba Provincials because they get so much experience from them from that. And that's why I think they're at the Canada Cup now. It's going to be such a great experience for them. So I definitely want to watch them at the Canada Cup for sure. And then Scheidegger, I mean, they're staying together, as I mentioned before, for the next um, Olympic cycle. They're a great, strong, consistent team. Again, I always say this, Christy Moore, she adds so much to the team. And I think they're going to make the playoffs. So I'm not going to, yeah. So I think they're going to make the playoffs. Um, and then Enerson, they've won a few events this year several events and this skip team i think is working out really good i thought they'd have some struggles going into the season but they have had no struggles they've been performing very well like they're not even a new team so they're doing amazing so good on them for doing that i think they're also going to make the playoffs um and then uh walker and Carrie, um, both equally matched teams, I I feel like. They're probably the underdogs in this event. They're not the strongest teams in this, but they could for sure they have a chance at winning. I don't I would not say that they're not gonna win the event. They're not the top team, but they're the underdogs, which is good because you sometimes you wanna be that team. And then the last spot was Flaxy. So that was the last spot that was given and Flaxy got that spot. So they're definitely not the strongest team in this event and I think they know that, but they know that they could win this event. And if they make all their shots, if they play well, they could for sure make the playoffs. No doubt about that. So, yep, I think Holman's going to win the event, and I think um, Enerson and Scheidegger are going to make the playoffs. Then for the men, um, Gushu, I mean, they're such a consistent team. Again, staying together for the next uh, four years, Olympic cycle, uh, winning this event would be great. I mean, they are a great team all together, so... Yeah, not much to say. Uh, Kui, um, they won the trials last year, so they're the defending champs of this event. And, you know, they are a fantastic team all together. Um, Colton Flash and BG Newfeld, it's just a great fit with Benny Bear and uh, Kevin Kui. It's, it's a great fit, and their team is working out fantastic. So I think they're going to win the event for sure, so I'm going to give them my star. <laughs> All right, yeah, Kui is a fantastic team. Botcher, so a young team again, another team staying together for the next four years, the Olympic cycle. Um, at the last Slam the Tour Challenge, um, they actually made it all the way to the finals against Jacobs. So I think this experience at the Canada Cup is going to be a great experience. And then moving on to Jacobs. So this is the team I wanted to talk about. So we know that Ryan Fry took a leave of absence. So they've announced the um, 
replacements. So they actually have two replacements. So Matt Wozniak, who used to play with Mike McEwen, will be filling in for Team Jacobs Jacobs at the Boost National coming up in a few weeks. And then Mark Kennedy will be filling in for the Canada Cup, which I'm super excited about because we're going to get to see Mark Kennedy. We haven't seen him curl in a while, so that'll be exciting. Um, yeah, Jacobs, a very strong team. You know, it'll be interesting to see how we, how they do without Ryan Fry, see how they adjust, but I think Mark Kennedy is just a, an absolute curler, so I think they're going to come out with a, um, a fair record. Um, and then Epping, a, a new team. Um, it's the first Canada Cup of the next four years, so very important. Uh, they made the can, they qualified for the Canada Cup, which is great. They're probably going to come out with a fair record. Um, I think they're going to make the playoffs. Yeah, they'll make the playoffs for sure. I think uh, they're a strong teams, so they should make the playoffs with a fair record. And then Carruthers is a good team. I think the Mike McEwen to Skips um, is working out pretty well. They've done well at the slams. They made the playoffs. Maybe not the best at the last event, but they've been having a fair season. Um, I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. And you know what? Some very strong teams come out of the Canada Cup with not very good records. And Sometimes that happens, so I don't think Carruthers is going to make the playoffs, in my opinion. And then um, Matt Dunstone got that last spot, so that was good on them. Uh, they're not the best team in this uh, men's field, for sure, but just like I said with Flaxy, if they make all their shots and if they beat some of the top teams, like maybe Gushu, Botcher, some of those teams, and then beat the weaker teams, even though there aren't a lot of weak teams in this field, um, they should come... Uh, they should make the playoffs, but um, I think Kui's gonna definitely win the event, and then I think Gushu and Epping are gonna make the playoffs. So yeah, uh, that's my preview for the Canada Cup. Also, I just like to say one thing: I actually interviewed Ben Eber and Joanne Courtney. Um, yeah, um, on the great podcast from the hack so make sure you watch that that podcast coming up because i'm going to do some interviews with benny bear and joe and courtney coming up soon make sure you watch out for that and that's my preview on the canada cup thank you for watching and make sure to like subscribe and comment and i'll see you next time bye